Stay tuned for more regional coverage from the local traveler. But first, here is Amber Kanoy with How to Go Local in Lexington. Welcome back to The Local Traveler. I'm Amber Kanoy and we are going local once again over at Springhouse Gardens with Richard Weber again talking about fall planting and even how to add a little bit of color into those winter months that we all so just crave that color. But let's start with fall because we've talked about pansies and mums, but you have a little bit well, non-traditional ideas for us. If you want some uh, color that will come back year after year, I think about planting some asters. Okay. This is one of our favorites called Radon's Favorite. Just starting to come into full, beautiful bloom right now. It's a native Kentucky plant, um, along with goldenrods, lots of different types of goldenrods. We have probably five to 10 different species of goldenrods out here. Uh, we've gotten a lot into more it. native plants and things. And this is our state flower of love Kentucky. Love that. Uh, these so are it is loving great. this one. Oh yeah, and the butterflies, uh, when it warms up a little bit, they'll be all over these plants. Now I'm smelling something. What is it that I'm that smelling? That is calamint, which okay. is another an um, interesting little plant that blooms its heart out Ooh, all like summer and into the fall. Um, but, you know, these plants, once we get into the really cold winter, there won't be much color out here. So that's why we've brought these out here. These are called coral bells, or uh, heuchera is the, is the Latin name. Okay. And these come in all different mm -hmm. colors of foliage. Um, they have different undersides of the mm -hmm. foliage, too, which is really nice sometimes when the light hits it a different way. There's also green versions of this and uh, kind of gold-leaved and yellow leaf forms. Um, these, most of these will flower, but they're mostly grown for uh, their foliage. And effects. this one almost has a velvety look to yeah, it. Yeah, this one is one of the best. This is called obsidian. And these will grow quite well in planters and pots and, and stay outside all winter and hold this foliage color all through the winter. Uh, best in a partially shaded situation. Another plant that is an evergreen um, in this climate is Lenten roses or Helleborus. Okay. Um, the other name is Hellebore. Um, these will start blooming in late February, all through March and April, uh, thus the name Lenten Rose. That's the season of Lent. And they have beautiful rose-like flowers that come up from this mass of foliage. Um, and it's quite unique in the fact that this is going to be an evergreen perennial. So you'd plant these in similar situations like you would hostas and yeah. ferns. So they like more shade, but they do wonderfully here in central Kentucky. So all of these we can plant right now. Right? Great to plant them now so you'll they'll have, come back. They'll come back year after year after year. And we absolutely love that, the fact that we can have it coming back next year. All right, well, if people have questions for you, Richard, how can they get hold of you? Give us a call at Springhouse Gardens, 224-1417, or uh, find out more information on the web at, at springhousegardens.com. Coming up, learn how to go local where you live. 